a U.S. warship was intercepted by four vessels of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, near the Strait of Hormuz on Tuesday, a U.S. defense official said Wednesday. ship in an incident that was unsafe and unprofessional. According to the official, the IRGC vessels came within 300 yards of the Esnitsi, which is operating in international waters, and conducted a high-speed intercept and closing within a short distance of Nitsi. Despite repeated warnings, the Esnitsi attempted to make contact with the Iranian vessels 12 times, but received no response. It also fired 10 flares toward the IRGC vessels, which still didn't respond. The Iranian high rate of closure created a dangerous, harassing situation that could have led to further escalation, including additional defensive measures by Nitsi. Reuters quoted the U.S. official as saying, The Iranian vessels forced the S. Nitsi to change course in order to avoid a potential collision. The official said, adding that the incident could have triggered a diplomatic protest if Washington had diplomatic relations with Tehran. These sorts of unsafe and unprofessional actions can lead to escalation and miscalculation, which may necessitate additional defensive measures. CMDR, Bill Urban, the public affairs officer for U.S. Naval Forces Central Command, told Stars and Stripes. Commanding officers have an inherent obligation for self-defense. Over the last year and a half, nearly 10% of Iran's interactions with the U.S. Navy were deemed unsafe or unprofessional, Urban said, adding that all maritime nations should act in a professional manner in accordance with international law.